call me anti-government. I don't care. It don't make no, no difference to me. I'm for God. For Jesus Christ. The government is against God. Go into your courtroom. Just walk in there. Talk to a judge. Ask them about Jesus. They don't want to hear it in a courtroom. You should be able to talk about God anywhere you want to. Oh, but what about separation of church and state? When you separate church and state, wait a minute, you can't separate church and state because the churches is behind the states. Think about that. There is no such thing as separation of church and state. But you go in there and you ask them about who God is. They don't want to talk about it. One might say, I'm a Christian. What kind of judge are you? Let's just say, they're a traffic. That's the biggest thing right now is traffic. Okay. Well, I'm a traffic court. Okay, look. You're a tra traffic judge. You're stealing off the people. You're going against God. You know, you are. You are stealing. You're going against God. Don't covet. You covet their money. And what about false accusing? Do you not think... That that is false accusing. Somebody is doing something wrong when they ain't. What does a seat belt? What does driver's license? What does insurance? What does it all? How does it go against God's law? It don't. None of that belongs to you. And what about the land? The land don't belong to you. It don't belong to the government. It don't belong to any of these people that says that the land belongs to them. It don't belong to you. It belongs to God. I think you ought to be able to go and get a piece of land. You ought to be able to grow your garden on it. Dig you a well. Dig you an outhouse. Build your bonfire on it if you want to. Look, if you're not... The government says, you can't do these things. Why? Oh, gosh. You might start, You might catch that person's house on fire over there. Oh, wait a minute. If it's my fault that that person's house catches on fire, I'm the one that should go over and build them another house. Yeah. I'm the one that should own up to what I've done wrong. What does the Bible say? Go look. God's, God's laws are not grievous. But the government laws are. Yes, I am anti-government and I will keep on saying it. Oh, but the Bible says that you should, you should obey the laws of the land. Oh, wait a minute. When they come against God, against God's laws... Then I need to stand up and say, no, huh, not no more. Not no more. Look at the Jews. What happened to them? They went by the laws. They followed them, followed them right into the, the gas chambers. What would happen if they had stood up? It wouldn't have happened. It's God's land. God gave it to us. We ought to be able to do with one. And, and another thing. Well, you know what really makes me mad about the government nowadays? You go back and look at history. All the Indians they killed for the land. This was the Indian's land before it was the government's land. They killed the Indians to have the lands, to have the 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 gold and everything that the, it looked pretty.
dirty in their eyes. So they killed the Indians. And the Indians were nice people. Sure, they were some that wasn't. Let me tell you why they wasn't. Because they seen what the government was doing. And they said, oh, no. We're going to stop this while we can. And they tried their best to stop it. Go back and look at your history. People come over here, all they did was just go, and, and they found them a piece of land. They built them a house. They built them a house. They built them a barn. They, they put fences around it. They came and lived on the land. They made their gardens. They did what they had to do. But then the government says, oh, we can make money off of this. So they went, and they stole, and they stole. Think about the train, the train track. They took people's land to put a train on. They took people's land so they could have a train to move their merchandise, to move the people, to make more money. What would God say about that? God would say, No, nope, I don't like that. Thou shalt not cover, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Oh, how they how they commit adultery? They served other gods. The God of money. It ain't right. The government is not right. And I would say, nine chances out of ten, I'm going to be watched. But I, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to stick up with it. I'm still going to stand up. Because God is the one that needs to be glorified, not this stupid government. They think they, they are your gods. The government is your God. Think about that. I am so anti-government now. I, I am really mad at the government. Making my life lies. My life is lies. If, if I knew, and my parents raised me in a, uh, in a church, but I have to say, I love my parents, but they didn't really, they, they didn't read me the Bible. They did encourage me to read the Bible. I didn't read the Bible until I was like 35, maybe. Then when I did, I was like, oh my God, my parents, they taught me this, it ain't there. They taught me this, and this, this ain't what it says. Read the Bible, and you'll see. That all kinds of things that you were told is not the way it is. And nowadays you'll probably see a whole lot more than what I've seen. Because it's the living word. The living word. And it changes. Believe it or not, the, this KJV is a living word. It changes. You're like, read it one day and it's like, okay. Read the next thing you're like, but that's not the way I understood it yesterday. It does. You would think, that's like when God put the cherubims in front of the Garden of Eden. You would think it was to keep the way out. No, you can't come back in here. No. It's to keep the way. So it's open to you. Because you can come back to the Garden of Eden. What's the Garden of Eden? It's God's dwelling place. It's where God wants to wants you to be. He wants you to be back in the Garden of Eden. Why? It's beautiful. So he could come and walk with you. He walked with Adam. What makes you think that he doesn't want to walk with you? He does. It's it's really nice. He come down and he walked with Adam in the cool of the day. 
That is such a beautiful picture. It's a beautiful picture. But will the judges come out in a cool the day and walk with you? No. How about them lawyers? Will them lawyers come out and walk with you? No. How about Obama? Will Obama come out and walk with you in a cool today? No. You are a peasant. You're you're way down here. You're nothing. You're just cattle in my eyes. You're cattle in all these politicians' eyes. Can you walk in and talk to a governor? I never tried it, but I guarantee you, oh he's got meetings, he's gonna be he gonna be busy for months from now. Write him a letter. You can email him. So I call on him on the phone, but oh you can't talk to him personally. You can't talk to him face to face. Why? He's up there. He has his steak and biscuits and gravy every day. Eating. Going on his drunken rampage at night. Smoking his heroin. Ain't nothing wrong with pot. I just wish he'd use it for the right reason. But he's out there going to these parties. You're sitting at home. Paying taxes, working hard to give them money so they can sit on their butt and have parties and do whatever they want to do and steal off of you. Huh. I heard this story one time. I don't know if how true it is. I just heard it. This cop driving by these people's house and seen a beautiful boat. They confiscated that boat. Guess where it was the next time you saw it? In that cop's yard. Why? Because the cop wanted it. Wrong. It ain't right. The government is for their little group. Think about the word citizen. The word citizen. Let me get my dictionary out here. Oh, I already got it marked. So it's not going to be hard to find. Citizen. Formerly an inhabitant, <coughs> inhabitant of a city or town. A member of a state or nation who owns alliance to it by birth or nationality and is entitled to full civil rights. Are you a member of the city? No, you're not. You're not a cop. You are not a lawyer. You're not a judge. You don't work for the government. Therefore, you're not a member. Okay, the third one, it says a, a civilian as dis discarnished from a Soldier, policeman, etc. See? A citizen is somebody that works for the government. Do you work for the government? No, I work for McDonald's. Oh, you work for the corporation. There's a huge difference. So you're not a citizen. Oh, there's more words. Oh, there is such more words. Let's look at oh, let's look at this. Being capitalization. You know when you get your driver's license, how it's all capitalized. Oh, 
a, a capitalization or being capitalized, the total capital found of a corporation re, uh, represented by stocks, bonds, etc. Uh, you get it? You get it? You get it! Huh. Come on, think about it. Why am I anti-government? Because they are not for you. They ain't for you. Let's read what it means to be a state. A set of circumstances or alter, or, or attribution characterizing a person or thing at a given time. Condition as mental state. Okay. State. What is the government? A state. They are all mental. Their own words. A particular mental or emotional condition. Hmm. As a state of me, land, holy. I don't know what that is. Sorry about my reading. Condition as regarding statues from stage or existence, etc. Social static or rank. Come on. I'm not in. I'm on the land of America. I'm not a citizen. I'm not in the USA. It's the corporation. I'm on the land that God gave me. It was a house in Georgia. Oh, I loved this house. I wanted this house. Me and my husband was looking for a house. And when I stepped foot on that house, I was underneath a tree. And I said, God, I want this house. I feel so comfortable here. I got to move in that house because I asked God for that house. Okay, so I got to move into the house. I lived there for probably about two years. Then my old man wanted to move, so we moved. And I didn't like where we moved to. I didn't feel God was there. But he knew I liked that house, and he did it because he wanted to be mean to me. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.